Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Murderer? Which is a horror game where you're on a twisted game show that'll test your morality and your sanity. So by default, this game has to be of a CRT filter, but I turned it off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the twisted spectacle that is our game show. Today, my dear viewers, we have a most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your entertainment. But enough for me. Let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? And now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, where truth is a commodity bought and sold, we welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun and games, shall we? From the concrete jungle of New York City, where dreams come to die, we have the enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. <laughs> Greetings, esteemed guests. It's a pleasure to grace your screens with my presence. Let the games begin. Next up, straight from unknown with the skill and determination of a true gamer, and also he's super cool, our wildcard participant. So the game page description says there's four endings based on, I guess, your choices and the outcome of the game. So these choices may actually very much matter. How did you know it? Hey, what? How do you know all that about me? And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction, hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the occult echo through the night. We have the inscrutable Edgar Darkwood, a man whose secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. Greetings, mortals. Let's embrace the unknown together. And there you have it, dear viewers. A motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions. Ready to do battle in this arena, so sit back, relax, and prepare for yourselves for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin. Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your gray man will be put to the test. And every correct answer will swell your coffers by a handsome ten thousand dollars. Ooh. Now without further ado, let's delve into the depths of the unknown, shall we? Time to shine. Questions here. What is the name of the psychiatric hospital in New Jersey that once housed notorious criminals and patients deemed unfit for society? Uh Trenton. And the answer is... Wrong! Overbook Insane Asylum, where Sandy checks out and Mandis checks in. Remember folks, admission is free, but the screams will cost you. It's your turn, Richard. Ready? Which of these fruits contains a deadly poison and seeds? The answers are... Grapes, watermelon, orange and apple. Apple? My guess is Apple. And the answer is... Correct! You got the easier one. The Apple, just a casual snack of tons crushed seeds and voila! Death's doorsteps awaits. It's your turn, Sarah. Ready? Which psychological condition causes individuals to believe they are already dead? The answers are... Quadrant Syndrome. Capgrass Syndrome. Dialogist Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Codred Syndrome, and the answer is correct. Huh, I just learned something. Codred Syndrome, where the living believe they are just a harpy away from joining the ranks of the dearly departed. Talk about a dead-end diagnosis. Edgar, your question awaits. What is the name of the infamous serial killer in spite the character of Norman Bates in Psycho? The answers are... Dahmer, Ed... Keaton. John Wayne Casey, Ted Bundy. It was either A or D. My guess is Ted Bundy. And the answer is... Correct. Yeah, Ted Bundy. 
The man behind the inspiration for Norman Bates is none other than Ed Gein, the charming gentleman with a penchant for interior decorating. That concludes our first round of mind-bending questions, folks. With that, we'll be taking a short break for our sponsors, but don't wander off, my lovelies. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to the minigame. With a knife, of course. Wait, what? My dear contestants, we're off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Can I leave? I don't know if I can do this. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? We can find a way out. Listen, Sarah, if you're not up for this, we can find a way out. This game isn't worth risking hurting you. I think... I think I need to get out of here. Yes, it's probably best if you leave. Yes, you're right. It's better to withdraw now. Thank you. I appreciate your understanding. Removing the competition. Oh my god! So who else wants to leave? How about you? This knife game coming up. Who knows what will happen? Tough break about Sarah, huh? Hey, this game isn't for the faint of heart. You just spared her from suffering. It's survival of the fittest, after all. Are you ser sorry about Sarah, huh? You did what we had to do. Listen, in this game, there's no turning back or running away. It's best to keep that in mind. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live once again, but unfortunately, we have encountered a slight setback. Sarah will be unable to continue the games due to an unforeseen circumstance. With one contestant already eliminated, we'll have to skip our first minigame. Albeit, reluctantly. But fear not, dear viewers, for the show must go on. We're diving straight into our second round of questions. With the contestant's moral fiber we put under the microscope for all to see, every answer in this round will earn you $10,000. So feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions. Let's see who will rise to the occasion and who will falter under the weight of their own conscious. Get ready for some thought-provoking questions, folks. Time to shine. Questions here. You find a wall in the street with a large sum of money inside. What do you do? So what is... Well, how are you grading me? Return the wallet intact so you know where the person is? I don't know. Oh, interesting. Oh, the allure of easy cash. Memory finders, keepers, losers, will you... Oh, I think we kept the uh, the money but gave him the wallet. Like, oh, someone took it. Time to shine, Richard. Questions here. You must save one family member or ten strangers. What do you decide? The answers are... Save the family without hesitation. Save the strangers. Let fate unfold naturally. And D, flip a coin. Fate decides. Oh, the coin! My answer is let fate unfold naturally. Oh, interesting. Family ties are the needs of the many. Ah, oh, Edgar. Here's the question. You're offered a dangerous job in exchange for wealth. What's your choice? The answers are... Negotiate for improved safety. Embrace the risk for wealth. Prioritize safety and decline. Drive into danger without precautions. Manage to dive into danger without precautions. Oh, interesting. Danger, money, and a dash of mortality. Alright, folks, that wraps up the second round of questioning. And my, my, have we peeled back some layers. Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal. The raw essence of each contestant. They've sized each other up, and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned after this short break. We'll reveal the two finalists of this twisted little game. I think I've lost. And for you out there watching at home, don't forget to call our toll-free number to join us in the studio audience for the next episode. There's always a need for fresh faces. Voting, eh? Well, well, well. Things are about to get interesting. The shadows deepen. Well, folks, it seems we're off the air for now. If you need to know when we're back, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. I gotta eliminate one of you. I don't got enough money. You. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. So let's come down to this, huh? 
Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? Yes. And you're the champ. He's trouble for me and for you. It'd be risky for you to face off of him in the finale, wouldn't it? How about we vote him out and clear the path for us? Let's do it. So you ready to continue, Dini, another moment? I'm ready. Excellent, let's dive back in. Before we kick things off, gotta say, I like the answers you gave in that last round. You're holding your own pretty well. I'm doing my best. Better buckle up then, the best is yet to come, and it's gonna be a wild ride. Okay, let's continue. Welcome back, folks, we're live again. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping advice. Looper, the last mission, a small arcade shooter where you type down time loop and battle against your past selves and available incredible price of zero. I think that's a different game from the developer. It's time to introduce our next phase, the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contestant with the most votes will be out of the game. Now to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case all participants would be eliminated and there'd be no winner. So think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. Alright, let's get down to it. Who are you voting for? Now, I did tell Richard I was going to vote for Edgar, but I'm going to vote for Richard. Richard, what about you? No hesitation. And finally, the champ, Edgar? Because Richard could have been trying to trick me. Alright, we have a winner. What should I say? Eliminate contestant. Alright, folks, we're Oh, nope, never mind. They voted- they both voted for me. Okay. Let's choose a different ops this time. Greetings, folks! Greetings, folks! Time to bring the heat and win this thing! And we'll skip ahead. What is the name of the infamous serial killer who inspired the character of Hannibal Lecter? John Wayne... KC... Ed. The answer is correct! Yeah. This one I, I knew quite well. What substance was famously used in ancient times to preserve bodies for eternity? The answers are honey. It's honey. Formaldehyde is a more modern thing. Oh. Natural salt mixture to preserve bodies during the mummification process. I think they did use honey, but let's look it up. Evil torches that you used to stretch the limbs of victims. Iron Maiden, Brazen Bull, Guillotine, the Rack. Guess it's the Rack. The answer is correct. So they always get it right. Turn stretching exercises into a spine tingling experience. Who knew pain could be so flexible? Agri's question is. What is the name given to the outbreak of the bionic plate that wiped out the favorite portion of the population? You got an easy one. I mean, they all all these were pretty easy this round. Black Death, Scarlet Fever, Red Plague. Because it's Smash Flu. So, oh, you they actually can get it wrong. He got it wrong. The Black Plague about breaking news was famously known as the Black Death, leading a trail of death and despair across the continent. Okay, let's actually see what the mini game is. So last time we talked to Sarah first, we convinced her to try to leave, and then she got shot. There's a knife game coming up. Who knows what will happen? I heard Sarah's not handling too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through in one piece. Ready for the knife game? She's gonna take it slow and steady. No need to rush into anything risky. You're stronger than you think. Sarah. This might be tough, but we'll through it together. You really think so? Okay, Manly, let's do this. So, Manly, you're ready to continue, do you need another moment? I think he kind of needs Sarah here to survive the voting round. I'm ready. Excellent, let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Yeah, these are just the devs of our games. It's time for our first minute game of the evening, where the contestant's courage will be put to the test. Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Here are the rules. Contestants will have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. 
They must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. Oh. Yeah, it's a bup, 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 bup. Then the time of the contestant with the lowest score will be first to face elimination. Let the games begin. Okay, so no matter what, someone gets eliminated. Ow! Sarah, oh, either way, Sarah's gonna die. It might be scripted too, like maybe she always like does worse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The first elimination. The unfortunate soul will be bidding us adieu tonight's number than Sarah. That sounded like a buzzsaw revving up. Things just got serious. Now the game truly begins. Here we are, let's continue the show. Skipping ahead. Okay, so the question we got this time for this section was, you find out a friend has been secretly stalking someone for months. What's your next move? Offer to join in on the adventure. Confront your friend and seek help. Let's try a positive one. Confront. Oh, interesting. Ah, the thrill of the hunt. Stalking is just another form of admiration, isn't it? Who needs personal space when you can have a dedicated fan club? Richard's question is, we find a wall on the street, what do you do? The answers are, this is the one we got. Oh, yeah, so I did choose to return the wallet. Okay. Answers take the money, no questions asked. Interesting. Edgar gets the, that question. So the um, Richard said, "Let fate unfold naturally." So Edgar actually says to save the strangers. Interesting. Family ties are the needs of the many. All right, folks, start the second round of questioning. Okay. No. I give the champ, he's trouble for me and for you. How about we vote on my clear path for us? I don't want to play dirty. I'm ready. The last time I voted for Richard. So I should roll for Edgar? Richard, what about you? No citation, Edgar. Only a champ, Edgar. Richard. Alright, we have a winner. I should say, a limited contestant. And you're out of the game. It looks like it bugs out. Put the wrong portrait there. Alright, folks, we're getting closer to the grand finale of this show, and that means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Each correct answer in the final round will earn you a whopping $25,000. That's what you said. Let's dive right into the last round of questions. Oh, Manly, here's the question. How long could a human survive without oxygen before experiencing irreversible brain damage? It's pretty low, I remember. I'm trying to think if it's the 3 to 5 minutes or the 7 to 10 minutes one. 3 to 5 minutes, yeah. And the answer is... No! 10 minutes? 7 to 10 minutes. So I cut down to the living, that suffocation is dance of death. Oh, Richard, here's the question. What is the minimum core body temperature required for human survival? The answers are... Stay for 77, 82 for 86. No. 90 Fahrenheit. And the answer is correct. But Fermi is chilling embrace. Let's life's fire extinguished by fate's icy hand. Alright, folks, it's time for our last commercial break before the grand finale. Our two finalists will engage in a duel filled with frills and spills, a real bloodbath of entertainment. My dear contestants, this is your last chance to catch your breath. Hope you're all handy with a rifle. A rifle? Here we are. No more games or tricks from now on. It's just you and me left. I'm sorry, I'll be the one walking away victorious. Well, Manly, it's that time we've all been waiting for. Are you ready to face the final showdown, or do you need a moment to gather yourself? 
I'm ready. Excellent, let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We're about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Before we dive back in, here's the last shopping tip. Minesweeper rewards. I mean, who's the full paying us to promote these, right? Ladies and gentlemen, and esteemed finalists, perhaps by now you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we test our contestants' knowledge, then their courage in the knife mini game. In the second phase of questioning, in the voting, we probe the morality of the players and the coldness required to choose to eliminate another individual. In the final phase of questioning, we assess wherever you know the method. And if you made it here, you have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. There's just one final step to truly define yourselves as such. Action! And so in this last phase, you'll be armed with a rifle in 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience will be the new champion of this dazzling episode of our game show. Let the festivities begin. Yay, we're all gonna die! Oh. Don't run, don't run. There's no reason to hide. It's better if you line up together. I can take out the whole family that way. I was trying to see if I can snipe him. Oh wow, I'm I'm a good murderer. Alright folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their uh, uh valiant efforts. Now without further ado, our champion, or should I say our murderer, is none other than No, please don't do this. I'll do anything. I'll be Manly. Remember this victory isn't just about the prize. It's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill. Let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of... Hollow Victory. So just get down. It's it is actually random. Like it's not guaranteed who wins or loses. Richard, can't let me be dead, can he? Those screams chills down my spine. Now the game truly begins. A wall of large sum of money. Give it to the forties. Voting? I didn't sign up for this. Shadow Steven. Can we ever misjudge you? I thought you were better than this. What did I do? Sarah. Need some time to think. Edgar. My champ, Edgar. Sarah. Alright, we have a winner. Should I say a limited contestant? Sarah, you're out of the game! Yeah, so okay, it's not completely linear, no. I mean, the, the game page said it's not linear, but I thought that was only the uh, questions. 40-50%. Correct. How long does it take for a lethal dose sign that cause death in humans? The answers are... I'm actually curious on this one. Answer is wrong. Yeah, one, two hours. Five, ten minutes. Cyanide's deadly kiss, stealing breath with bitter almonds and sweet mortality. Alright, let's do the gun part. I'm sorry, but even you can't escape the inevitable. Good luck. Almost all of them. 
But yeah, I won. <laughs> If I ever do our champion, or should I say our murderer? None other than. No, please don't do it. I'll do anything. I'll be. Manly! It's not just about the prize, it's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill. So I forget the sweet and touching scent of blood in the air. So if I ever do, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of. Hollow Victory. So it's not based on money, I think it's based on kills. Wait, what's this? I'll start your timer 10 seconds after your opponent. So don't match even the odds, eh? Accept the deal. Excellent choice, my friend. Now that's the spirit of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We're about to find out who will be the winner of the exciting night. We we'll drive back in here the last shopping tip. So I guess this, since this route, I chose the more murderous options and the cutthroat things. Like, oh, let's vote it for Edgar out. Oh, I got Sarah to, like, leave. So, like, he's like, oh, I'll offer you never a little trick here. Rifle in 30 seconds of time. Remember to the most people from the audience will be the new champion of this dazzling episode of the game show. you always take out one of the shot. There's no one left to murder. I've murdered everyone. Damn, you only murdered nine people? Get out my level of murder. Alright folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. Before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their valiant efforts. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say, our murderer, is none other than. The... No, please, talk to us! I'll do anything! I'll be. Manly! Remember, this victory isn't just about the prize, but the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill. Let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So, without further ado, let's crown our murderer and be farewell to another exhilarating episode of. Ending 4 4, Aberration. Yeah, boy! Rank 1, $50,000 and 39 kills. So I guess the ending's based on your answers and how many kills you get at the end, maybe? A little mixture. Well, this round, actually, I'm just showing this real quick. No one, like, I didn't get the answer right. No one got it right. Zero dollars. Let's see if I get the ever ending this time. Yeah, ending free off for murderer. So, dead ending is, of course, you just lose. Uh, the hollow victory ending is if you go with the positive morality options and win. And then murder is if you choose, like, a mixture. And then aberration is if you choose nothing but the, uh, the cold hard options. And you get that extra little question in the end to sabotage the final game. So, that's it for who wants to be a murderer. A killer game show, which is surprisingly a thing that's been around in the uh, horror or thriller or even action movie field. So game concept-wise, especially with the, the dynamics of like, it's not a linear thing, like other people can win. Sarah seems to always kind of mess you up, like you always gotta vote Sarah off. She always seems to turn against you, which is kind of funny. 
but the gaming concept part is fun. I like it. It would have been nice if the game was a little bit longer and the money part had more of a play and like the ending or just the vibe of the game. But you know, it's it's a free indie game. One thing that does make me a bit curious is does the audience know like the end of the final round is they shoot at the audience or maybe they're happy about that. Maybe they're like, hey, maybe we'll get to have the chance to watch the other audience members die. Ha ha ha. Because maybe it's random which one they shoot at or something, I don't know. Who has any idea how this world works? It's Twisted Morality 80s game show world. So maybe people are okay with it, you know, as long as they're entertained. Audiences up for grabs. But yeah, anyway. So if you go watch a play Who Wants to Be a Murderer, I'll see you guys later and take it easy.